Uh, first of all, great to be again with capacity for development and, and Ebola is something where I think collectively we, we all need to, to learn and we're just at the beginning uh, of coming to grips with this major crisis. And yes, I had the opportunity uh, a few weeks back uh, to, to visit the country. I was in Sierra Leone and I was in, uh, in Liberia uh, together with ECHO. Uh, we spend uh, a night and a day, uh, day each and we had a broad interaction with, uh, with the main actors, uh, President, Minister of Finance, Health, uh, uh, Médecins Sans Frontières on the ground, uh, etc. Uh, and also uh, to meet with delegation staff. Delegation staff currently being thinned uh, back uh, to lower the risk, but still with a f uh, very good people and uh, still actively uh, trying to cope uh, with, uh, with a difficult situation. Now the, the impression was, was uh, I think, threefold. Uh, the one, uh, it, it radiated very well that the EU is, is coming up in, in a big way uh, in support. Uh, overall about 180 million euro package, uh, of which by today uh, already a uh, good 20%, uh, 40 million almost, uh, already dispersed. So that's quite, uh, quite quick. Secondly, that we are one of the only actors who can cover the broad range of, uh, of support to small uh, NGOs, to mobile laboratories, uh, but also to address some of the macroeconomic imbalances and shocks these countries are uh, experiencing. Uh, and then also ready to capitalize on, on the new programming period 2014-2015. Uh, so once again, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to leave uh, with, the, with the audience here that it's true that as, as EU collectively, we have quite a formidable uh, toolbox and at least in that first set of measures which we put together uh, early September we, we, we got off to, to not a bad, um, a bad start. Uh, this being said uh, already at the time uh, when I was there it was clear that the, the curve of infections was still uh, growing exponentially and this is not just a statistical drama but already in Liberia and Sierra Leone uh, you can see the dead body uh, convoys and uh, uh, and uh, a certain amount of despair coming through the, uh, the population. And this is where I left at least with uh, sort of th three, three uh, strong messages uh, to the country or also to ourselves, uh, namely that if you combine uh, strong leadership from the very top uh, in these countries uh, with a drastically scaled up international response, and then thirdly also with each and every individual household teacher person in those countries affecting, taking also their own responsibility to change uh, behavior, then yes, I think we can still uphold the narrative that hopefully by the, the end of this year, in about two months time, uh, you would have a situation where from that gradually exponential curve of increase, you would uh, move into a flattened curve and then early next year uh, into a decrease and slowly back to a, a situation of uh, normality. I'm, I'm very much aware of the project and it was very much already well resonated because this is one of the first things which were uh, from Europe uh, on the ground. Uh, a program funded by the long-term instrument of the instrument supporting peace and, and stability, hence yet another toolbox uh, which was, uh, was deployed. Uh, we had very early uh, a laboratory going on in, in Guinea. We had very early on also a laboratory uh, deployed to, uh, uh, to Nigeria for the first outbreak and we also had already quite early a laboratory uh, deployed in uh, Liberia, not yet in Sierra Leone. These laboratories come fully equipped with, uh, with staff. Uh, they run uh, seven hours a day on 12 hour shifts. Um, I think already the numbers of, uh, of tests passed uh, goes well in the um, above uh, hundreds into the thousands. Uh, it is something which comes a lot with uh, with training also of local capacity so that we will at some stage also have uh, have these laboratories stay and um, make sure that uh, that future outbreaks can be uh, much more readily uh, contained so i must say one uh, a very early very visible uh, contribution uh, from uh, from europe uh, still going on and we have just made the decision uh, to extend their presence uh, uh, and the funding of their presence, including the, the staff, uh, well into 2015.